Everybody Phil here with CarCraft Classics. Showing off a cool classic C10 pickup truck here, 1977 model. And before we get started on all the details of that truck, for those of you that don't know us, uh, my company is CarCraft Classics. And we're located here in Cumming, Georgia at 321 Canton Road. Again, that's 321 Canton Road, Cumming, Georgia, 30040. Just wanted to give you a quick peek, old glory there, a quick peek at our current inventory. Cool old duster, square body pickup, that one's sold. Got a cool 81 Corvette, all original. 80Z28, 70C10 pickup hiding back there. Beautiful supercharged 72 Chevelle. 73 Camaro with a stroker motor in it. Just goes on and on. Beautiful 50 Ford F1. But for this video, I know it's probably going to be mostly square body fans that, that view this one. And we've got a couple sweet originals. That 84 just came in last week. We just detailed it yesterday. All original. And then we got that black original 87 back there. That one's actually sold to a, a nice couple from Florida. Just got done detailing the engine compartment and the undercarriage. Well, yeah, if you want to check us out online, we're at carcraftclassics.com. Phone number for the shop is 470-239-4977. My cell is 770-317-1415. And email is carcraftclassics at gmail.com. Well, that's enough with all those details. Let's get to looking at this truck. Some of you C10 fans out there may, may recognize this truck. This truck was built by the guys... Out in West Georgia, they are, they go by the name of C10 Squared. The owner, his name is Clay. They built this truck, I believe, last year, maybe the year before. Uh, it must have been the year before because I think the Power Tour sticker says 2018. So, anyway, took this car, this truck on the Power Tour. Proved to run really, really well and be reliable. Obviously, it's been lowered. I don't even know where to start. This thing has so many cool details, but uh, I'll give it my best shot here. Again, it's a 77 model. Obviously, it's been lowered. It's been lowered the right way. Clay, when he built it, they used drop spindles and lowering springs up front and a flip kit in the rear. It's a 5.7 drop. Brand new shocks all the way around. And something that a lot of people forget to do the rear end has the shock relocation mounts, um, the brackets, and uh, that really helps those shocks do the job they're designed to do back there uh, when you use that uh, the flip kit. So anyway, we'll give you a peek underneath. There'll be still shots on the website. Again, that's carcraftclassics.com. We'll get the undercarriage. I'm not going to crawl around on the ground right now, but we'll get it up in the air in a minute and take its you know 50 plus pictures, including that undercarriage for you to see. The rear end has not been C-notched. It doesn't need it. It goes down the road great. It does not bottom out front or rear. Really, the lowering kit was done nice. And then you can see the beautiful 20-inch American Racing torque thrust wheels with the gray centers. This is a staggered setup with an 8.5-inch wide wheel up front and a 10 in the rear. Let's take a look under the hood and see what we've got here. Again, Clay runs C10 Squared. If you guys haven't liked him on Instagram and Facebook, give him a visit. He does a great job with you know not only building these trucks, but the t-shirts, the hats, the customer photos. He does a really, really good job. If you're a C10 fan, you definitely want to visit his page and, and give him a like. So again, this is a 77 model, so it's got the round eye front end that I love so much. Nice grill clean bumpers and what do we have here 5.3 liter LSV8 motor super 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 clean install as you can see the motors all been detailed and painted and one of my pet peeves is the exhaust manifolds they are all rust always rusty and crusty and they are super clean Looks like some sort of ceramic coating on them too. They just really pop up against that orange in the motor. This thing's show ready, baby. All right, what else do we got under here? Power steering for sure, of course. It's a 77. Now power disc brakes. 
AC. We did a few things to the truck. I'll go over that in a minute. But one of the things was the AC uh, needed to be serviced. We took care of that. And then the vacuum line so that the, the doors inside for the climate control were going to be working properly. Uh, we supplied that line. We've got that all working right. You can tell they built this to keep it and enjoy it. These are the high dollar dipsticks. Super nice. Looks like a low car park to me. But new AC compressor. It's all been charged up. Blows ice cold. You can see the under carriage, the frame rails and everything have been detailed. Nice power steering box there. That looks like a newer one. Let's see, I think he put in a new radiator as well here with electric fans. Hopefully you guys can see that on the video. <clears throat> Runs like a top. It's got a big two and a half or three inch exhaust running out the back there. As you'll hear in a minute, it's got a nasty sinister groan to it. This thing sounds like it's angry. And again, runs like a top. You know, some of these guys that install these LS motors today, because it's gotten so popular, people don't get them tuned right. And this one, that's just not the case. Clay did it properly. You fire it up even when it's ice cold. Starts on the first turn. Idles up a little bit for a second and then idles right down but uh, again super clean engine compartment next guy who gets this truck won't have much to work on that's for sure nice clean core support let's get this cowl hood down <coughs> and there's the front end it's got the steel cowl hood on it oh those those inner fender wells inner wheel wells that I just showed you a minute ago those are aftermarket you know this truck's got a 5.7 drop on it and uh they decided clay and his his gang decided that uh you know they needed a little larger inner wheel well there there and they they installed those slosh tubs and those are super cool give a nice clean look in the engine compartment as well there's little trim panels that uh that you get from that same company uh, we have them here to fit this truck and they go with it all right super super clean so again it's got the ls motor in it i was told it had around a hundred thousand miles when it was installed probably has about ten thousand more now it's got a 4l60e transmission um, and that's one of the things we did when i bought the truck the transmission needed to be rebuilt so we took it directly to the transmission shop and that was rebuilt in October of last year I've got paperwork on that again we did a little AC service we put a couple new pins in the doors realigned the fenders a little bit worked on that uh, you know the AC system and uh, inside the cab as well what else did we do new glove box got the radio working I think that's about it. Maybe one or two small things. It didn't need much when we bought it. They built a good truck out there uh, at C10 squared. And again, this one's been on the power tour, so it's already been tested. It's reliable and ready to, you know, it's turnkey and ready to go down the road. I know Clay enjoyed the heck out of that power tour in 2018. But as you walk around this truck, got the cowl hood there. You know, it's like one little goodie after another that they did to it. I really like the way they built this truck. I'm not sure if this is the original interior, but hot dog. It is super, super, super nice. So we've got the white exterior, and we've got like a blood red interior. Super sweet, man. And for the round eye guys out there, that front end, it doesn't get any better. Glass is all good. It's got manual windows. They roll up and down fine. Man, what a sweet ride. But again, let's take a look at the interior. We'll go over some other goodies that have been installed in this truck. Interior is really, really clean. Door panels are in excellent shape. 
look at that interior. And again, I apologize for the uh, for the shadows, but when I do my still shots, and you guys check them out on the internet on uh, on our website, I'll make sure there's no shadows and you can see everything clearly. But for the video, we're just taking a peek in here, just giving you guys a look. So, aftermarket steering wheel with the cool Chevy center button, horn button, and look what we have here. Nice set of Dakota digital gauges. These, as you can see, have the black face. Hopefully you guys can see that. Got the tack on one side and the speedo on the other. And you've got that little LED display to show your odometer and things like that. I've got the reset buttons for that down here under the dash. Carpet is in excellent shape. Excellent, excellent shape. Don't so see too many nice red interiors. You know, a lot of the C10s have that ugly red. I don't know what color you call it, but if I see another one, I'm going to vomit. Again, the insert, the inside for the glove box has been replaced. The little USB port down there for the stereo. Aftermarket stereo works well. AC blows cold, as I mentioned. And that down there, in case you guys are worrying, or wondering, I should say, is a steering column lock. It locks onto this piece here, and uh, it can't steal a vehicle. Let's fire this thing up. I'm sure you're tired of hearing me talk. Headliner's in great shape. And in case you're worrying about the, wondering about the uh, Dakota Digital gauges, they light up white at night. Even the interior light works. Got the sliding rear glass, factory option. And I mentioned to you before, you know, we got the LSV8 up front, and then we've got the 4L60 four-speed overdrive transmission. And it's all bolted to a 12 bolt. You don't see that too much, too much on the C10s. And I'm not really sure if that was factory or whether they put it in. They may have installed that when they changed the drivetrain, but certainly is nice to have uh, the heavy duty uh, GM rear end, that 12 bolt instead of a 10. Got a little later model rear bumper put on here. Super clean. Very nice. Got a drop-in bed liner. That's the mat from inside. Pulled that out so you guys could see the carpet. But uh, got a little plastic drop-in bed liner. Body side molding with the red paint. Pinstriping inside the molding there. Heck yeah. Truck is sweet. Those American Racing Torque Thrust 2s, those are awesome. With the stepped lip and the mag gray center and uh, the painted calipers. Super nice look. And again, this hot rod is, is turnkey ready. Lights work, directionals work, heat and air, as I mentioned, that works. Could you work on it and change things? Of course you could. You could always do that, but it doesn't need anything at the moment. No scrubbing with the wheels, even when you turn lock to lock. No bottoming out going down the road. Just a badass C10 ready for a new owner. I've had it a while. I think I've had it about six months. Tinkering, driving it home. I've probably put 200, 250 miles on it. Nicest one I've had, that's for sure. Doesn't need paint, doesn't really need anything. Exhaust is done, lowering kit done, 
doesn't leak. Let's go for a ride. Can't tell I love this thing, so. A cool interior. Just buzz around the parking lot, give you guys a view from inside the cab, let you hear it run. God knows I don't need an excuse to fire this thing up and enjoy it. out there there's cheaper gauges out there but I think by the time you install them all the extra parts that you need you'll end up spending as much as the Dakota Digitals and the Dakota Dakota Digital right out of the box is plug-and-play they go right in they fit great they include all the wiring harnesses all the plugs that you need really super nice and for those of you I think I mentioned it, but in case you're wondering what that thing is down there on the floor, that is the uh, steering steering lock, uh, column lock. And the stereo, let's see here. It's got these cool little speakers over there. The highs, the mids. It's got speakers behind the seat. Sounds awesome. Let's see if we can get this going here. It had a bad antenna. We were able to get it all set up. Nothing but commercials. This year. See if we get some rock and roll. This is our 77 model. It was in pretty good darn shape, I'll tell you that much. As I said, ready to roll. So, the big question, what's the price? The price on this bad boy is going to be 
22.9, which we think is more than fair for an LS swapped round eye Chevrolet C10 pickup truck. Super clean install, as I mentioned. Needs nothing, ready to go down the road. So give us a call. Let me know if you have any questions. You want to schedule a test drive or make an offer. We can also customize the truck. If you just say, you know, the, I don't like those wheels or I don't like that rear bumper, whatever the case may be. I want to spray in bed liner. Just let me know what you guys need. We can also help with shipping and financing. Kind of a one-stop shop here. Please be sure to um, like and subscribe to our uh, YouTube page here below this, this video. And uh, we surely ap appreciate all the all the fans and customers you guys help us make this whole thing go and uh, we've got a good one here so hopefully somebody out there watching this video is ready for a new square body pickup again asking price is 22.9 that's an asking price we will you know we're fielding reasonable offers feel free to give us a buzz again my number 770-317-1415 thank you so very much for watching this video God bless America.